guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Ajivenche SG. So let's do another interesting word problem on whole numbers. Let's read the question first. Mrs. Lee has three packets of sugar, packet A, packet B and packet C. Packet C weighs 600 gram. Uh, packet A weighs 600 more than half of packet B. The mass of packet B is the total mass of packet A and C. What is the total mass of three packets of sugar? So what we have here is that Mrs. Lee is having three packets of sugar and their names are packet A, B and C. So let's say we are having uh, three packets here. Okay, one, this is let's say is A, then maybe this one is B. Uh, I'm roughly drawing uh, them of equal size, but actually their masses are different. Okay, yeah, so let's say these are A, B and C, there are three packets and we know that out of this, uh, the weight or the weight of packet C is 600 gram. So we, we already know that this one is 600 gram. What else do we know? Okay, uh, we know, we also know that packet A weighs 600 gram more than half of packet B. Okay, half of packet B. That means uh, whatever is the content in packet B, if we divide it into two parts, right, if we divide it into two parts, then packet A is 600 more than 600 plus additional half of it, right. So let's draw it in, in the form of model so that you understand it better. So the, the one which is very straightforward is packet C, which we just need to show that 600 grams right so let's let's start drawing it so let's say uh, let's say this one is my packet C okay which is uh, 600 grams okay so this is my 600 grams and this is what this is my packet packet C right now how about packet B Right. Since we know that uh, 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 we have to find half of packet B, right? It would be it would be better if we assume that this whole thing is two units, right? If this whole thing is two units. So let's do that. So let's say our packet B is two units. Please don't make uh, this block same as this one because one unit is not six hundred grams. Okay. So it should be different then this one okay now so this is uh, one unit and this one is another one unit okay so let's say they are all the both equal and the uh, and this represents my packet b okay now how about packet a we know that packet a weighs 600 more than half of packet b now what is half of packet b see packet b is two unit so half of 2 is 1, right? So at least we can immediately, what we can draw here is that packet A is definitely half of packet B, which is 1 unit, and then another 600 grams, right? So we can, uh, which we can represent uh, something like this, okay? Something like this. Okay, so let's say this is 600, okay, right? Now, uh, this is the model for for all the three packets, right? So where we are, we are, what we have shown here is that packet C is 600 gram, packet B is two units, and packet A is one unit plus another 600 gram, right? Now, what else do we have? So this is the last sentence, uh, what we have. Right? So the mass of packet B is the total mass of packet A and C. So what is given here is that mass of this packet B. Okay, So the mass of packet B is actually equal to the mass, total mass of A and C. Okay, right? So let's, let's write this in the form of units. Right, so the mass of B is equal to A plus C. How, how much is the mass of B in terms of unit? It's two units, right? And then it should be equal to what? It's, it, it should be equal to the mass of packet C, which is 600, plus the mass of packet A, which is one unit 
plus another 600, right? And this will give us 2 units is equal to 1 unit plus 1200, right? Now what we have here is this 2 units is equal to 1 unit plus 1200. That means obviously 1 unit is equal to 1200. Right? Those who have difficulty in understanding how, how from here suddenly uh, I got 1 unit equals to 1200. For those, right, what we can do is, you can, can be explained like this. Let's say 2 unit is equal to 1 unit plus 1200. Obviously, I have to get rid of this 1 unit from right hand side. How do I get rid of this? So, the best thing is add because this is plus unit uh, plus one unit right just add one minus just add one minus one unit on both the sides on the left hand side and on the right hand side basically minus one unit from both the sides right so that this plus one unit will be cancelled by this one my one my one this minus one unit okay this plus and minus will get cancelled and here 2 unit minus 1 unit will give you 1 unit is equal to 1200, right? So, so it's very obvious also, right? Because uh, 2 unit is here is here equal to 1 unit plus 1200. Then obviously if you subtract 1 unit from both the side, you will get 1 unit is equal to 1200, right? Now, we have now how much is 1 unit. So, let's read the final part of the question, which is, what is the total mass of 3 packets of sugar? Right? So, let's first find out what is the total mass of 3 packets of sugar in terms of unit. Right? So, here, if you see carefully, how many units are there? 1, 2, 3. So, it's 3 units. Right? Plus this one, 600 and plus another 600. Right, so there are two six hundreds, right? Two six hundreds. So that's the total mass, right? And that's what we need to find. So let's find it out. So total mass, okay? Total mass of three packets is three units plus six hundred plus six hundred. Okay, that will give you uh, three hundred plus twelve hundred. And since we know 1 unit is 1200, so 3 units will be 3 times 1200 plus another 1200, right? And that will give me 3600 plus 1200 and this will give you 4800, 4800, right? So, the total mass of 3 packets is 4,800 grams, right? So, let's write our answer quickly here, okay? So, the total mass of 3 packets is, as I said, is 4,800 grams, right? So, that's the solution of this question. Hope you liked it. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.